Hello guys, I usually not big fan of making unboxing videos, but after dropping almost $800 on a case lab computer case, I would like to have a look and see for myself what is all as a rave about this product is about and if it's actually worth the ticket price. I'd like to uh, tell you that the customer service from case labs was really exceptional. I got all answers very quickly shipping was extremely reasonable going from california to toronto canada it was 136 dollars um, this is definitely just a cost there are no additional charges or anything like this the packaging is really good uh, very strong box uh, one thing that i was totally surprised that this weight of the case is much greater than expected for some reason i saw the case as some sort of aluminum fabrication but i don't think so because it's 50 pounds or 25 kilos so it's definitely um, made of something more uh, heavier than, than aluminum so let's uh, look what's inside of the box I don't know what to expect I never saw this case in person before um, anywhere and uh, so we just uh, have a look together put it next to my little devil case uh, that I'm replacing this case with and um, Okay, shall we start it? Let's go. I'm kind of sure which part I should to open, but I assume, you see how heavy it is? We just go from the side position. A lot of paper. Alright, some parts starting coming out. Doesn't even have a space to put it on. So I'll put it on the floor for now. And um, we'll have a look. It's actually, you see, I ordered it um, disassembled, which is uh, supposed to, be, to save me some money. It's looking pretty good. Everything is separated. So, I have all the, you see, heavy. Um, the high meal plastic bags, so it's not easy to go through. Side doors, pretty heavy. Okay. I think it's supposed to have my Fizzle Up t-shirt. But I definitely don't see it anywhere. It was 14 bucks. Well, we'll see. Probably somewhere inside. All right. That's, That's it. What I have inside. Um, I don't know. Some sort of tree inside part. This is side panel on the back, not ventilated. This is my Excel sized um, side panel on the other side. And this all parts was the case. You see your shield, all the PCI slots. So like a bottom of the case. Uh, this is the back of it, obviously front this is a, I think top ventilated uh, covers I assume 
that's the gears right the way. Uh, more of internal stuff. Looks like motherboard tray, but we'll see. Okay, there's some of more things here, which I hope will get me all my electronics, like um, USB ports and stuff like this. Silverstone port for USB and things like this. Wow, even screwdriver. Check this out. And not cheap one. It's nice. Case feet. Rubber. Good. And lots of screws and all the things that we will look later. More parts, I have no clue what it is, but I assume this SSD and this is probably a hard drive or some other type of internal mounting. Yeah, my t-shirt. That was I looking all this time. Who cares about case when you have some stuff coming. Here you go. Thank you. This is the panel for on-off switch in the front of the case and all this thing. Alright. Oh, and, um, and this is actually top ventilated extension for the radiator that I ordered. I guess we'll get just snap on top. All right, that's what we have here, and uh, why not assemble it? Let's check it out. Okay, guys, I'll just uh, follow instructions. You have a book here that says which part goes where, and um, I don't know if I can offer you too many comments because it's everything I see first time in my life. But um, I'll just do what any of you would do. Okay, so this is two parts you start with. And the one is called chassis divider, just this. And uh, chassis middle plate. Okay, cool. Let's find correct screws for that. Countersink, quarter, something. All right, now I have delivery. So let's try to put together exactly how it says. Looking on the type of the finish, um, like powder coated, very nice, not too shiny, just the right amount of uh, paint, um, all this rubber inserts, really good ones, really good ones, not some cheap crap you sometimes see in generic cases. Yeah, so far looks good. Supposed to put it like this. Like that. Just 
Thunder Chassis. Trying to put it just the uh, wrong way all the time. Okay, you get it now. Let's screw it together. Yeah, first part is done. Fantastic. So what's going next? Chassis top. Step two. Alright. How does it look? Thing with hole with holes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I see it now. Okay, step three. Locate rear chassis. And notice T marking on it. Does it look like it? Looks cool. It might me equipment that goes into the racks, something like servers, things like this. So as you can see, screws going totally flash. So when installed, you won't be see anything. So I need to align the stuff first. on this side to fix corners well definitely more screws than I had in on my XSPC cube case with just corners that's it that's a, quite a few additional ones case is absolutely stable which makes sense for people who do water cooling because with the amount of equipment inside which is weight ton you better have a sturdy construction having said that I can't say I, I complain about XSPC cube case it's a little bit flimsy but it does a job without any trouble for me. What I like here is with aluminum cases you touch it, have some dirt and good luck to take it off. This one I have some dust, just wipe it. Perfect. Okay. Locate F here. And um, what I do with this? I assume F goes to the front. So let's maybe go like this. Starting getting big, <coughs> big thingy. Big case. Oh my god, another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine screws. The total number of screws says right on the back 70. So be prepared. 
to work through the stuff for some time. And again, good idea to, especially in the beginning, align ports properly so we can put the screw without forcing it and stripping thread. Pretty good, but it's I can't say it's absolutely perfect, so you need some effort in order to align parts. Wow, this will be a big case. It's perfect for people who have triple S alive, some quad, whatever the crazy things. So you put all your hardware and enough cooling parts without any sacrifices. Well, so far the feeling I'm getting, you know, it's like with cars. Anything will drive you from point A to point B, but um, you might get different kind of ride. And let's start looking that it's different kind of ride. Okay. So that run for me. Love those bags. So sick. Definitely no damage. That's my front. I'm glad I chose this model because I thought about wider version. This already too much. Got another 10 screws on top, on the bottom. A lot of work, but it's all will pay pays off at the end. guys will be better try yeah success okay so you see guys the thing start getting some shape and get some relation of the size size of the case pretty tall but not not too wide which is good to be honest with you I didn't want it like a really big case so I tried to choose a model that as small as possible get a good spacing for cabling between panel and tray so that's pretty good okay. step six step six attach switch as shown this is the part I have here, and um, just going to put it through. I wonder if I use the same screws. I'm 
doesn't say anything. So I would assume I continue to use the same same kind of screws I used to. Let's put cages on. According to picture. Looking at cables, good quality, high density sleeving. It's nice to see. Okay, so, guides this says that we need slightly loosened screws. really clear at this point but let's see okay all right we have a handle and uh, attach PCI back plate to rear of the chassis we have four spring loaded screws and leave it only slightly loose. Ah, yeah, okay. That I can see. Okay, now we need to attach two parts together with the hex screws provided. And the hex screws, I think. Okay, this part is done. I should be really close by now. Install clips on the standoffs. Where standoffs? Oh, yeah, those. Okay, oh God, it's a huge bag of those. And a half an hour job is okay. More than that, it's a job. Okay, let me see if I do it right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. If something can go wrong, it will. I need to put the hinges in, so this will allow side panel to open. Well, for that feature alone, I would buy the case because nothing more annoying than unscrewing 20 screws to open side panel. And even if it's only four, it's still annoying. I knew it. Okay. One more, and we can test it. I was thinking to put this thing together quickly and uh, maybe to play with uh, motherboard installation. I don't think so. After that, I need a beer and a relax on the couch, something like this. Cool. Amazing. Full swing. Yes, yeah, those doors are just great. This is no question. This is a major benefit. Going with this case.
Look at that window. Holy moly. He can show it all. Alright. Phew. What's next? This should get in really close by now. Last page. Yes. Oh. All we need to put side um, side covers. Actually, I didn't put feet on, but it's okay. Can look into it later. exercise for your body oh actually not only this I also need to put my IO electronic thing in that will put side panels looks start looking interesting here's the additional part you can buy this is a um, so it's USB connectors in the front and uh, let's try to put it goes goes right here that's what I'm trying to say it's not that convenient to to put it on now so possibly I need to remove the Older. Nice. If I put it as it is, it's crooked. Mm -hmm. Again. Yeah, it's crooked. Just the con the part itself is crooked. So. No way to compensate for it, really. Okay, figured out. I have uh, some extra nuts that was used to hold uh, a PCI slots tray um, or panel. So I have like four of those. So I just put them over here, and that gives me about two millimeters spacing. And after that adjustment. Just assessment I have perfect flesh the front panel and now it's a little good because I knew it's still a little bit I wish I have a little bit more but I knew that will be bugging me good. now we can put front panel on to get some bad idea on how things look is not catching why is it quite a few spares let me see if that will help to address the problem or maybe I just can this can be fixable just bend it more no need to replace it Oh, 
not perfect, but yeah, that's easy. You just bend a little bit more and it starts falling. No need to replace the pressure. Alright, so I'm just thinking that after, I, I thought it's impossible to put a radiator in, but now I think if you have a slim one, you probably can. So, because I think without top part, case might look more balanced. This freaking huge thing on top. The same, the same time for the easier of installation to put a radiator here with all fans. It's more, it's quite convenient too. It just became a little bit big. It's not obvious either. Okay. Well, hopefully I don't do it too often. Here we go. So, a couple guys. I, I have missing feet. But, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's finish it up and then we can put it together with um, with little bit. It shouldn't be a very big job. This case. Alright. Hmm. I have screws, but I don't have a nut. Okay, I don't have a nut to fix it in the middle hole, but. I can just screw what's provided in one of the four holes that is used for the wheels. I don't want wheels in my, in my case, so the legs is better. The rubber is a little bit um, whitish, so I would probably put um, MNPC tech feet here will be a nice upgrade for this case but for now I'll just use whatever we have and um, see. because really what I want to compare two cases 